Hello everyone. So I have been using this ThinkPad T14, I believe for uh, six months, a bit more than six months. I think I started using it in uh, December last year, 2022. Now when I started using this uh, laptop, first of all, I'm extremely happy with this laptop. I was, of, I was of course using ThinkPad X220 as my primary laptop, but uh, I was looking for a bit more power because I do sometimes, uh, you know, little bit of video editing. So I thought, okay, it has been, uh, it is now 2023 and it has been many years, more than a decade. Let me now upgrade. So I started using ThinkPad T14 and uh, one thing which I was not using till today was basically the Bluetooth. So it has a Bluetooth and I don't use it because I don't like Bluetooth. Uh, first of all, I prefer wired. Also, there is like a fingerprint thingy, which I never really used. I don't really care about it. Maybe I will. But I was now, because the, the, the weather is good now here in the UK and uh, it is sunny, it is bright. And my living room, this is my living room where I sometimes come, you know, just to relax. And usually I sit here not in my win not in winters usually in uh, you know summertime because it is bright and it is uh, uh, you know very good and it is change uh, a bit different from my usual uh, setup and i'm right now here i mean i'm sure you must have seen my videos where i'm here with this background i quite like this place but uh, and maybe i should probably spend and uh, maybe use this place to make videos because it is really nice uh, but i don't really have uh, like a proper setup here because I always I always need my setup and I did some setup here I use my like one of my keyboard I am using a different mic this is blue yeti by the way I am using of course uh, the same logitech webcam I have two of these webcams and uh, I was trying to use uh, because on this thinkpad I just have two usb ports and although I use like a usb c, -C hub which is like a, you know, that dongle thingy, which you can use to connect a, a keyboard and also a webcam. And also this mic is going directly to my laptop. But I was also trying to, because there was no port for Bluetooth. Uh, uh, you know, I have that Bluetooth mouth with, mouse with a dongle. And I have this Logitech mouse, which is like a Bluetooth mouse. And you can actually connect it to ThinkPad. And this is not a tutorial. I'm just, you know, trying to share what I did. So if you're using Arch Linux or anything, some kind of Linux, you can actually use this uh, utility called Bluetooth CTL. Now, this is something which I believe uh, uh, you can use, I guess, in any Linux. I mean, wherever you have this package available. And of course, uh, because we want to use something from the terminal. And uh, I thought, okay, let, let me set it up. Uh, let me use this mouse and I'll probably not use it. I, I'm not sure. I'll probably buy like a, I think I have like one Dell dock, a USB-C dock, which I'll probably uh, use because I want to use it, but there is a power cable missing. So I need to order a power cable, but I think it is good in a way that I'm now setting Bluetooth. Maybe I'll use it for something else. So the first thing that you need to do, you need to install these packages which is called as blue z and blue z hyphen utils and once you do this you need to use this uh, utility called bluetooth ctl and the way it works it is basically uh you can, if you run bluetooth ctl it is interactive uh command now you basically have this uh interface where you can select what you want to do but i don't really want to use this here uh interactively i want to use uh, the non-interactive commands and you can actually do a few things like uh, if I look at my command. So basically, if you want to, so this will only work if you have a Bluetooth service running. If it is not running, run it. And also, you know, you want to make sure that the service is also running when you restart your computer. I don't really like running too many services, but I think for Bluetooth, it makes sense. So you can basically just do sudo, um, like system CTL start Bluetooth and uh, just enable the service so that it works on restart. Now the first thing that you can do is of course uh, look for the help which we just looked at but uh, you can also look at the help uh, non-interactively like this and uh, you can then uh, enable your Bluetooth uh, 
controller and uh, or basically you need to enable like first turn it on and make it discoverable dis discoverable and then you can uh, look for all the controllers that you may have for example you may have like multiple controllers i just have one i mean if let us say you have like a bluetooth dongle connected so you can actually run this command called bluetooth or ctl list it will list something like this and by the way there is plenty of information online uh, and uh, i also followed one online tutorial and once if you have more than two controllers then uh, make sure you select the right controller using the mac address with which you will get on top and this mac address is actually important because you will be using mac mac addresses for everything uh, for connecting to a device then of course you need to uh, start uh, uh, scanning and uh, pairing uh, a device so first you need to run a command which is basically uh, to perform a scan and when you perform the scan for, for example let me do it very quickly so if i run this command bluetooth ctl i can see hopefully uh, it will start you know looking for everything that you have in your surrounding and it will of course you know show you maybe uh, your bluetooth mouse if it is turned on and also you know press the button I and mean, usually there is a button in all bluetooth bluetooth devices and you will get basically the mac address right for example here you can see i can i can see the mac address of my treadmill uh, my watch and so on so just use this to pair uh, first and once it is paired then you have to connect it and you can also do the same thing to disconnect and that is it uh, very simple it works nicely and uh, it is really super useful uh, and when you restart you might have to do few things because i'm not really too much bothered about uh, making sure that it works on restart but i believe you need to modify some file like uh, your some bluetooth conf, conf file or maybe it will work I, I, I don't know maybe i'll uh, you know just figure it out and i'll update you if i can uh, because it didn't work for me that is the thing i was hoping it to work i had to basically perform the i had to disconnect it and pair it again uh, which i guess uh it's not ideal but uh, you have to make sure that it also works on restart and uh and i need to figure it out i'll probably you know just uh do a bit more troubleshooting and uh, maybe a couple of stack overflow articles but that is it uh if you're trying to configure bluetooth mouse with arch linux and thinkpad t14 with or without because i think if you don't really have bluetooth in build you can also use those controllers i guess it should work uh, but also if you go to the arch linux online wiki you, they have plenty of information all right that is it that is it for today's video by the way i'm using the a different setup so different mic let me know the the audio quality all right that is it for today's video bye bye